New York City is like a hub of many different cultures. And if you have a really strong voice and a really strong purpose, you can, you can make it here. Everyone says that, but it's really true. New York is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> New York is vibrant, even in a black and white photo. That's a hard question. That's the hardest question so far. I feel like the representations that you see of New York in pop culture are not entirely inaccurate. New York is full of opportunity and an amazing place if you can deal with the stress of it. I don't know, it's the greatest city in the world to me. I, I, it's hard for me to, to explain it to anybody else. To me, New York City is photography. It's the place where you can stay still and it still feels the most like traveling. New York is excitement, energy, creativity. It's always something new. So even if you have like a routine, there's a lot of things that break it up. Every street is a little different and it's always changing as well. There's a continual process of trying to find ways of looking at it that feel new and continue to excite me. It also has this aura to pull you out and to make you feel most vulnerable, but you don't feel like you're crazy or you don't feel like you're different than anybody else. Um, you're just kind of walking around living your best life. Then anything you're into, you're always going to find someone that might have the same interests as you. Community Darkroom is a place that gives accessibility for individuals to make work that may not be accessible otherwise. So it's an affordable place for artists, photographers, printers, and creators to scan, develop, process their own work at an affordable rate while also creating a network community, essentially. I'd say I at least I'd hope it's a place where people can come and not be intimidated. It's a place where people can take classes and learn everything from how to use a pretty standard 35mm camera to processing their film and printing and even advanced uh, printing techniques. I think the best part of community darkrooms is that you meet all different kinds of people from all different walks of life. When I was in school, we would always be working in the darkroom together, and so there was like that community sense that you have a question, you just kind of ask whoever's around, and either you figure it out or they know, or like people work together and just kind of problem solve. It's nice, people are nice, mostly. So my name is Lucia Rallo, and this is the Bushwick Community Darkroom. I originally started it 10 years ago as a like single occupancy thing in a closet in my basement. We were there for like a year and a half and then people started giving us equipment and giving us equipment and giving us equipment and so we started looking for space and ended up here in 2015 and have sort of been slowly taking over the space since then. I used to help run the Jewish Community Center's darkroom on uh, the Upper West Side. And then I was in Brooklyn and I just happened to see that there was a darkroom and I popped my head in and Lucia was there and she's like, the people that were gonna help me build this darkroom backed out, like I have all this stuff, like I need to move this. So I came in, I looked at her plans and I was like, well, what do you, you know, I had a lot of ideas. Keith has, was like instrumental in that. Like he came in one day and was like, you're doing this all wrong. This is how it needs to be done and redesigned everything. It was a life-changing experience, like six months of building this place. Because we were like, all right, like, what are we going to do? But I'm like, you know, you're going to want to have a professional be able to print on their own. And then we're going to want to have like room to teach the classes. My name is Harriet Roberts and I teach the intro to black and white photography classes here at Bushwick Community Darkroom together with Keith Marlowe. So we teach people how to develop their own film and then print from it. There's a lot of people who have never done that before. 
So a community darkroom is open to anyone at whatever level they are, if they've never shot or developed or printed film before, all the way to people who are very familiar with the process. Um, anyone can come here and learn about it from other members or share what they know with other members. And so it's just really beneficial for anyone who wants to be involved in analog photography. And I love teaching people, I love sort of getting people interested in analog photography or people who've been interested for a while but always thought it would be too difficult or just that they couldn't do it and showing them that they absolutely can. And there's people who I see here years later who took our classes and are now making these really beautiful prints and it's really amazing. My name is Mateo Arciniegas. I've been living in New York for 10 years and I've been coming to the Bushwick Community Dark Room for about four years. So to me, being in the dark room and printing is a very important part of my life. It's my like alone time, it's kind of like a therapy to me. Seeing the progression of how the work is from when I shoot it to when I print it first, do contact sheets and maybe it goes a month and then I reflect on what I'm doing and I see the body of work that I'm shaping and then I might want to change something. So go back, rework these things until I have like a tangible item that, it's, that I'm really happy with and I'm like confident. Um, I think it's the most important thing for me. A negative, it's it's basically your photo. So it's the tangible object that you can have. Uh, it's where your photo is gonna be for many years. It's never gonna go away. Uh, it's very important to keep them because again, if you're trying to rework these images, if you're trying to like in 10 years, five years, you want to do more prints, you wanna do, you wanna reflect on them, you can go back to them and you can have like your archive. Compared to digital technology, the negative is there. You know, it's not gonna go anywhere. Like, you, you're not gonna have glitches of technology where like, oh, your phone died, so where's my photo gonna go? The cloud is not working, my hard drive died. So having that thing in your hand that no one can take away from you and can last, it's, I think it's the best thing. It's, everyone should do it. My name is Rachel Jun. I'm the owner and founder here at Gowanus Darkroom, where we are right now in Gowanus, Brooklyn. We've been open for six years now, and uh, the place really started based on the idea of community. Um, so really fostering a photographic community in this neighborhood in Brooklyn. Um, the reason why I wanted to start it, really just having the passion for it. Um, I've always been a darkroom person, and um, it surprised me that there weren't more dark rooms in the city given how many photographers there are in the city. And for me, having dark room equipment and learning available was really important. I knew it was sort of falling under the radar a bit and um, I didn't want it to go away. So that was sort of my inspiration for everything. And, you know, selfishly, I wanted my own dark room also. That didn't hurt. <laughs> But um, yeah, what we do here is we have all the equipment needed for all things analog. So we do film drop-offs, we have all the equipment needed to do your own kind of DIY film processing or darkroom printing, black and white and color. And then we also have memberships available. So you can either come by the hour, just pay by the hour, or you can do a monthly membership. And then those members get 24 hour unlimited access. So they can come in, treat the space as if it's their own. And then we also do a bunch of workshops, private lessons, classes, you know, youth learning as well. And just kind of keep it going, keep the analog dream alive, really. I'm Samuel, and I'm a lab assistant here at the Bushwick Community Darkroom. I've been developing film and printing here almost since the beginning. I started coming here when 
The dark room was in the closet next to the laundry room in Lucia's basement. And I've stayed involved through several moves and I started working here a little over a year ago. Through this past year, which has been difficult in a lot of ways, being able to come in here, use the space, use the facilities, has helped me stay connected to my own photographic practice. And it's been a blessing and an honor to be able to help people continue their own photographic practices by working on their film, doing their scans for them through that, through that time as well. My father, when I was very young, took a class when he was stationed in Hawaii. So I remember going into the darkroom with him at that point and didn't really go into um, doing darkroom work for a very long time. I did get his Canon AE-1 camera and um, had that at my side for a long time without actually doing anything with it. And then I decided to take some classes on darkroom. Then I just started working with film a little bit more and decided to volunteer here to get some time in the darkroom as well as being around people who are like-minded. I find darkroom very therapeutic. So once you're in that groove, you're, you know, you're in that groove and it's, it's just a great feeling just to be in the darkroom, period. <laughs> My name is Andy Jackson. I have been coming to the Bushwick Community Darkroom for three years. I think for my photography, it's very much kind of like a little bit of softness and romance about it because I'm very much like a hopeless romantic. If I'm doing black and white, I'll put like a one filter or something just to make it like very flat, focusing on like kind of like the softness of the image. I think going to the darkroom is very romantic too because like you're seeing your image come to life right then and there. You're sitting with this image for seven or eight minutes like while you're doing the whole process and it's like you're like looking at the image and you're kind of falling in love all over again. I didn't really get to enjoy it when I took it because I can't see it but now I'm having this moment to sit with it and look at it and fall in love with it and then try to figure out how I can make it better. You know, if you keep a negative, you'll have that for a lifetime. Maybe put it in some sort of archive and like have it in your family. I think that's kind of what makes it great to have that physical remembrance. What's interesting to me about the Bushwick Community Darkroom and probably my favorite thing about it is that it's 24 hours a day. So like I constantly, uh, I'm somebody that like when I print, I'll just print for like hours bleeding into days because like the setup is the worst part, you know, to get there and get everything set up and get moving. Then like once you're rolling, like once that train is going, you don't want to stop that train because that train doesn't always start again when you're really in the groove. The book I've been printing at the darkroom is called Flashbulb. It is rock and roll pictures I took mostly in the Midwest from 1998 to 2004. Basically it ends when I moved to New York City. And it's all shot with manual cameras, all developed by pretty much in my basement of where I lived. And then all of it has been printed at the Bushwick Community Darkroom. I don't personally get the satisfaction from only seeing things backlit on a screen. Like I want to be able to pick up my work and just like look at it and be like, I made this and hold it in my hands and potentially like give it to somebody else, you know? So I like having the digital backup. It makes me feel very secure to know that I have stuff backed up on hard drives in different locations. I have stuff backed up in the cloud, but I also have negatives of it and I also have prints of it. Like this is my life and this is my work and I, I want it to last forever. So 
I mean, I would be horrified to think that it was only digital, personally. And why should other people print their work? Because it's great. It makes you feel awesome. Like, when you're holding that in your hands and it's not backlit and, like, the light is bouncing off it, and it's something that you made, like, the satisfaction you feel is just unparalleled as a photographer. I mean, if you're a photographer and you haven't printed your work, like, what are you waiting for? One of the great benefits of a community darkroom is the people you get to meet. It's the, probably the biggest benefit. And for me, on my very first day, I met Keith there. And you know, we worked together over the years on helping each other out, and then eventually started Borough Photo together, where we continue to work with clients and make prints and work with their film. We've often had clients that bring us images, whether on film or printed, that have some sort of damage due to age or due to some sort of disaster, and we will digitally restore them using Photoshop. I really think that a silver gelatin print is the best way to print a black and white image. Uh, we've even taken digital images, printed them on film, then printed them from that film in the darkroom in order to get a great silver gelatin print from a digital image. My name is Eric Thornton. I'm an analog photographer currently based in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a former member of Bushwick Community Darkroom, where I did all of my own printing, I taught classes, and also built a mural printing facility. I grew up in analog photography. I'm old enough, luckily, to have had a darkroom in the high school that I attended. And that's when I started shooting film and printing around the time that I was 16. And I am still an analog photographer to this day. Since I dropped out of art school in my uh, late teens, I, uh, I hadn't really picked up the camera for almost 10 years. And uh, I don't know what caused me to want to take pictures again, but I knew that I needed a place uh, where I could process the film and print that stuff. And uh, fortunately, living in Bed-Stuy in Brooklyn, the Bushwick Community Darkroom is pretty close to me. And that's the place where I started making my own work again. I actually, uh, I made uh, some really good friends at the Bushwick Community Darkroom. And after traveling extensively with one artist that I met there, we decided to open up our own private studio where we could have more of our own equipment and experiment more. And now I have my own independent practice. I really do have to give uh, the Bushwick Community Darkroom credit there because I found it to be very accessible to me and very inviting. I was able to do that because they were there and they put a great deal of effort into making a facility that was conducive to me making my work. Community is really important for all artists, but specifically for a niche like analog photography. You can go to school for it, but a lot of that information's kind of fallen by the wayside. You can find a lot on forums and the internet and all that, but I think having that one-on-one -on -one learning experience with someone, you see someone doing something cool, talking to them about their work, sharing your work, also sharing opportunities. You know, there's so many opportunities, but it's impossible to stay on top of all of them. So I think for people to just help each other, foster each other's growth and learning. That was really special for me. So, you know, if you see something missing in your society, your community, you know, you can totally build that. I think that's huge. Mm -hmm.